When Ian is sent to scout for his colonel, um, gather information from the tribes in the area, um, he comes across Emily again. I think it's very bittersweet for her. It's obviously shock seeing him again. And much to his surprise, Emily's family has grown and her son bears a striking resemblance to young Ian. Ian's really had a traumatic last few years. I think he is still carrying a heavy burden after having to leave the Mohawk and go back to his old life. And I think there's so much unfinished business with Wahanaway. And I think this scene is really a turning point for him because he obviously finds out, in fact, he did father a child. I've worked with child actors now a few times and they are an absolute delight. They are so in tuned instinctively with their feelings and their environment. And Nico, our little swiftest of lizard, is a star. When Ian comes back, he's aware that, yes, he ha there is a family here, but it's not his family. And for Wayong Hawei, she wants to give him something in order to feel that, you know, he is a part of his, of his son's life. Will you choose a name for him? Of your people? Those two worlds showing the merging of the two and coming together and realizing that the child does have to walk in both worlds and uh, can do that with honor. Your name is Ian James. But I think over the course of the scene, you'll see her come to terms with it all and, and kind of have that closure that she needed from the beginning. It's very layered because one, they loved each other so truly um, and lost that love, but now they also, they have this child together and young Ian will not be able to be a father to this child. And so on many levels, there's a ton of heartbreak, but knowing that she is happy, knowing that he is able to have children, um, it also sets young Ian off on, on a new journey to find his own family going forward.